So this is going to be my creative diaries for the upcoming projects I'm planning. Uh, keeping myself on track, making sure that I've got the right the right work going, that I'm not getting myself caught up in the stupid parts of creating. Uh, some days are going to be better than others. Most of my days up until now have, have not been good. Creatively, anyway. Um, so at the moment, I'm working on a short film. Um, where the primary theme is isolation. That's... That's a film that I'm looking forward to doing. I've I've finished one week's filming so far. And I'm hoping that by the end of next week, with what limited time I have, I'll be able to have finished all the primary filming. Um, I may have to do one or two reshoots after that, but... I'm I'm hopeful that it'll be nothing major. Then it's just editing. Um, the theme of isolation, while it's it's kind of more relevant now because of COVID, um, it's one that remains relevant to me before, and likely for a while after COVID. Uh, due to the remote and rural location of my home. This is where the inspiration came from. Um, being Highland-based comes with a lot of unique challenges when it comes to being creative or being part of a creative team. In particular, the lack of team. Um... Thankfully, I found a couple ways around this issue, but... Oh, excuse me. But it is still difficult to get... people who are passionate about acting and performing, filmmaking and theatre on board when they don't live near you. Um, it's probably one of the reasons why all my work so far is one-man show based. So, yes, I've got a film that is primarily just me. I got a neighbour to help me out with some of the filming. And I'm hoping that'll be done at uh, end of next week. And that the editing will have all come together by the end of the week after. So, in total, that will be probably... That's not even the right month. It's the 21st today. So, hopefully by... Sort of... Probably around the... 5th of September, I will hopefully be finished with this film. Um, While I'm doing that, on top of everything, I am trying to create a workshop and a one-man show um, using Shakespeare's work. I'm looking... Oh, heck, I can't stop yawning. I'm looking to reduce Much Ado About Nothing from its something like five acts. Um, yeah, it's five acts into 30 minutes. So that's going to take me going through every single scene, reducing it down to only the necessary components to tell a story. To tell its story. Um, the hope is that that will allow me to create this small accessible 
bubble of knowledge for children uh, to interact with Shakespeare's work before high school. Um, I also want to make a short acting workshop because the one thing that can be quite difficult when it comes to understanding Shakespeare as far as I'm concerned, is the lack of, of interaction, interaction. I'm someone who learns through doing. I very much enjoy doing stories, enjoy experiencing stories, watching stories I feel can be, can be good for some people. But for me personally, I don't get any benefit from from seeing a story i i i feel that i get the most experience out of it by experiencing the story which i think is why i take to performing shakespeare a lot better than i take to reading shakespeare so that's really the plan um Tomorrow I'm doing more filming and then Monday I travel to meet up with some theatre creators. And then the end of all of it, hopefully I will have been able to create a movie and create a one-man show. Um... The hope is that I will have this all finished uh, early October. I am wanting to have the script and workshop finished by the 1st of October so I can prepare for going into schools the 2nd and 3rd week of October. Yeah, that, that, that feels like a short time frame, but... It also means it will keep me motivated. I don't work well when I have time. And if I don't have time, there's pressure and the pressure keeps me busy. Right. I guess I will upload another thing next week and that'll be it.